Hey everyone, uh, somebody asked if I could do a Modern Warfare 2 video, so I, I figure I'd just do like a little bit of an optimization guide. Um, I'll start the video straight off with just like my settings and then like my DMZ settings that I am doing, and then I'll show you in the benchmarks with the graphs and everything, um, kind of the differences. More so with uh, my settings, not with the DMZ settings, but we'll kind of talk about DMZ as well. And real quickly as well, um, if you're not aware, I am doing a giveaway of two full price base value games. Um, if you check out my last video that I uploaded, the one that I did on uh, Fortnite and the ASUS being, or ROG Ally, sorry, being uh, future proof. Um, if you, all you have to do is just drop a comment on there. You don't even have to watch it. You don't have to subscribe, whatever. Um, on Monday, I'll do a random comment picker and then I'll draw two comments and then I'll get in touch with you and that'll be that. Uh, so yeah, if you want to get in on that, just go drop a comment. Uh, replies aren't counted, just comments. All right, so getting into the results, I'll try to go through them a little quickly. Uh, again, all the settings are linked in the video at the beginning. Um, so going for 1080p versus 720p in just the benchmark, that's just the in-game benchmark, um, we can see already that the 1% lows and the 0.1% lows are pretty abysmal. So that's the moments of stutter and everything that you'll experience in-game, which were a plenty, and you'll kind of see in the footage that it's stuttering a bit, just in the background during the gameplay footage. Um, now we can see that the FPS averages are quite a bit lower as well compared to in-game, but in-game in arena matches, like straight multiplayer, you're going to be getting uh, close, like between 40 to 60 FPS, if not over, uh, depending on what setting profile you kind of choose here, or like if you chose to run 1080p or 720p, performance quality, whatever. Um, now... Getting into the results here, so 1080p, 15 watt FSR quality, we got 37.2 FPS average and pretty crappy 1% lows. Uh, we got 47 or 44.7 FPS average on our 15 watt FSR performance run, uh, and then a 47.8 17 watt run uh, FSR performance as well. So going over to 720p, we are matching the 17 watt now in FPS averages, 47.8 and 47.2. Uh, so 15 watt FSR quality, 720p, we got 4.9, 1% low, 4.2, 0.1% low. And again, the 47.2 FPS average. Now kicking that down to FSR performance, we got a 50.7 FPS average with the 1% low staying pretty much about the same. Um, now, 17 watt FSR performance, we got 54.7 FPS average with a 7.31% low, which was uh, a little bit better, but not quite much. And then we got a 4.9.1% low. Now, moving over and changing everything to all low, we can see immediately that the 0.1% lows and the 1% lows are boosted. So what I found, um, when I turned the game on immediately, or initially, it will ask you, okay, do you want performance or quality? And it auto went to quality. So I said, okay, whatever, leave it on quality. And the game was kind of stuttery and whatever. So I was adjusting the settings and then that's how I came to my settings with just tweaking and then doing the performance benchmark. And then I did all low, which isn't too far off from my settings to begin with, but there seems to be, uh, I believe a VRAM, not issue, but when you're in the four gigabyte mode, it doesn't seem to be utilizing all the, as much VRAM as it would like, or I'm not sure. But we'll get into that as we'll see that eight gigabyte does bring us up better. Um, but anyway, so for all low settings, 15 watt FSR quality, 1080p, 41.8 FPS average with 26.5, 1% low, 21.6, 0.1% low. And then 15 watt F, uh, FSR performance, 1080p, 51.7 FPS average, 38.6, 1% low, and pretty nice 1.1% lows. Um, now going down to 17 watt FSR performance, we got 56.4 FPS average, 42.2, 1% low, and a 40.3, 0.1% low. Now moving down to 15 watt FSR quality uh, at 720p. We got a 59 FPS average, which was higher than any of the others. We got a 38.1 FPS, 1% uh, low, sorry, and a 34.1% low. Going down to FSR performance, 720p, we got 64.2 FPS average, 44 1% uh, low, and a 33.3, 0.1% low. Kicking it up to 17 watts, it brought us up to a nice 68.1 FPS average and a 48.6, 1% low, but then there was a moment of pretty big stutter that brought us down to a 0.1% low of uh, 5.9, sorry. 
Now, why I say I think that there's a VRAM issue or some not an issue, but it just likes to have more VRAM is because now going to our DMZ settings, which were basically all low, but with textures a little bit higher, texture filtering at normal, um, just to make it look a little bit better than a potato. Um, so doing the tests here though, so default is four gigabytes. So that was an 85.3 FPS average. And I'm running this at full out, just 25 watt plugged in. Um, because I was docked, I wasn't getting the 30 watt plugged in. Uh, 720p FSR performance, all tests. We're just straight up testing auto four gigabyte, eight gigabyte. So with the uh, four gigabyte, the default option, we got an 85.3 FPS average, 8.21% low and a 5.1.1% low which was pretty terrible. And then same thing with the auto, like we got a little bit higher FPS average, but the 1% lows were a little more, like about the same. Nothing to write home about. But as soon as we turned it over to eight gigabytes, we got immediate boost to the FPS average. We got an immediate boost, huge boost <laughs> to the 1% lows and 0.1% lows. And just be like, just to confirm that no, this wasn't some glitch or whatever one-off. I went back to my original settings and then I did eight gigabytes versus four gigabytes. And we can see here that yes, in the benchmark, it was lower in the FPS averages, uh, but the 1% lows and the 0.1% lows were significantly higher. So it seems as though in this game, at least in my opinion, if you're, and it apparently likes to have more VRAM. So um, at the end of the day, if you're playing Call of Duty, uh, Modern Warfare 2, either multiplayer, or Warzone, DMZ, whatever. If you're having stuttering issues or lag or whatever, try switching over to eight gigabytes. Um, try try switching over to eight gigabytes with your settings, however you have it set up, and see if that gives you better performance. And then try switching over to my settings and see if that does it for you or tweak from there. But honestly, just do the benchmark in game and do your settings however you want them and then just do an a b test with the four gigabyte and the eight gigabyte and you'll see the immediate difference of how smooth the footage appears in the game and i'm showing footage here as well of all three of the auto four gigabyte and eight gigabyte and you'll hopefully be able to see it's a little bit more smooth in the eight gigabyte i didn't have a frame time counter in this one sorry about that um, but at least you can see in the fps graphs that yes it is better at eight gigabytes um i haven't done extensive testing but i did play a couple of matches as well after the the benchmarks at 720p performance and it was perfect it, it there was no moments of stutter um save for like maybe there was a big explosion or something but it wasn't a hard stutter that would have brought it down to like the terrible one percent lows as you can see like in even in the benchmark which is heavier than in game we were still getting above 30 fps for those one percent lows which is where you want it you want your one percent lows to hopefully be at or above 30 fps and then you're pretty much golden after that it, especially with the vrr the low frame rate compensation um on and the 120 hertz display it'll be nice and smooth and then you'll be able to tweak it however you want really if you want more uh, clarity with the 7, uh, 1080p, sorry, um, then you can kick it up 1080p, maybe drop the graphics down a little bit, or bring your wattage up a bit higher. I only tested this up, well, I did test up the 25 watts here, so you can see that, yeah, if you're going full tilt, you're getting pretty damn good FPS in this game. Um, but if you want, like, a mild kind of boost to the TDP, try 17, 18 watts, and then try that, right, With if you want higher settings. Um, but if you're okay with just straight 15 watt, then, yeah, these are pretty good settings, too. Um, but yeah, at this point I'm rambling on, um, again, shout out to the giveaway. Uh, if you want to be a part of it, just go drop a comment again. Uh, you don't need to be subscribed or anything to win. So don't worry about that. Um, you don't even have to drop a like on the video or anything either. Uh, I'll do the draw on Monday details are on my channel. If you're interested in the full details, but they're also linked in the video that actually has the giveaway tag on it. And that's the video that I posted uh, yesterday on Friday. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, hopefully everyone has a great day. And let me know again your performance in Call of Duty with these settings, or at least just switching over to 8GB uh, VRAM there. Have a good one, everyone.